So you need to know all about um, how hydrogen can be used as a fuel. So um, conventional cars, um, houses are heated, um, cars are run with petrol, houses are heated with um, gas, and these are what we call fossil fuels, and they're running out, which is a bit of a problem. Um, we dig them up from the ground, um, or we get them out from under the sea, and there's only a limited supply of them because of the way they're produced, um, which is something I'll make another video on. Um, they're produced by dead old things that have been in the ground for millions of years. They turn into the coal, the oil, the gas. We dig them up, and then we use them in our power stations. Um, to produce energy, to produce electricity, and then we put the petrol in our cars um, to make them run. The problems with this is that when we burn them, we're producing a lot of carbon dioxide, which contributes to climate change, and we produce a lot of sulfur dioxide, which contributes um, to acid rain. Now, I've used the term um, climate change here, some people may be familiar with the old term for it, global warming, um, but here in the UK, um, not last winter, but the last two winters before that, it was very, very snowy. It got very, very colder, while at the same time, Australia was having its hottest summer, because they have their summer when we have our winter ever. Over here, we were, we were freezing. School was closed um, several times, so it didn't feel like global warming was happening in this country, so we now use the term climate change because that's a bit more um, a bit more representative of what's actually happening. Um, so climate change is bad for the trees, um, we're chopping down trees, we're burning them up, um, and trees actually remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So the more trees we chop down to burn, the less carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere. Um, burning trees um, also puts carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, so it's a bit of a problem. So hydrogen, the really good thing about this is the only product we're going to get out of this is water. Over here. Um, and water is not a uh, gas that contributes to climate change. It's clean. We have hydrogen, we react it with oxygen, and we get water out of it. It's fantastic. And because this reaction is so exothermic, we get a shed load of energy out at the same time. So you need to know some advantages and disadvantages for this. Um, this could come up as a six-mark question. If a six-mark question asks for advantages and disadvantages, there's absolutely no problem with you drawing a table like this. Just make sure that you write in um, full prose, write in sentences, use your spelling, your punctuation, your grammar correctly. I mean, if it's a six mark question, I would like three things in each column. Don't just write six advantages or six disadvantages because you won't get all the marks that way. So the advantages are water is the only product that comes out of this. It's a very clean product. It doesn't contribute to climate change, and this is really good for large cities. Um, it's good for everywhere, but it's especially good for large cities because you don't get um, the build-up of pollution. You don't get the build-up of smog. The disadvantage is you need to develop new engines. This can be expensive, and then you need to convince everyone to get rid of their current cars and buy new cars. Um, now, I have two cars. Cars, you don't know this yet, but cars are really expensive to buy. Um, if a new hydrogen fuel car was developed... Um, there's no way I could afford to buy two of them. Um, hydrogen itself is very, very explosive, and it needs to be compressed um, to fit in a fuel tank. This is dangerous. You get in an accident um, in your car at the moment, there's fuel leak, that's dangerous, it could explode. A hydrogen car gets in an accident, the fuel tank cracks, and boom, is very, very dangerous. Another problem is it takes up a lot of space. You would need a very large fuel tank um, on your car to be able to carry around all the hydrogen and oxygen that you would need, which is a problem because I put shopping in the boot of my car. And it's quite hard to get the hydrogen. Um, we get it uh, currently, or one of the ways we can get it currently is from the electrolysis of water. So um, reversing the equation to um, of a birthing equation on the other side, but the electrolysis of water requires electricity, and electricity requires burning fossil fuels. So, a great hope for the future, but maybe not very realistic at the moment.
Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.